Hi, good evening, everyone. So today is the day 15 of the mains answer writing. Uh, those who are new here, in this program, we are discussing the PYQ question week wise. In the first week, we discuss the history question. In the next week, we discuss the geography question. So this week for the geography and today is the last day for the geography. We are providing you a single question on daily basis and at 6 p.m. every day, we are taking the discussion of the same question. So you can write the answers and the answer will be evaluated by our expert mentor. You can enroll to the course on the Educami website on free of cost. Okay. So let's start today's question. Now, what was the question? The question is, what are the consequences of spreading of dead zones on marine ecosystem? We need to write about the consequence of dead zone on marine ecosystem. So this is the question demand. So specifically the key word is the consequence we need to write. Okay. But before consequences, we need to know about the cause also. What are the major cause for the dead zone? What are the major, like a, it can be the natural or maybe the anthropogenic cause. So we need to write those also in a two, three lines. So we start uh, to give an idea. These are the major regions. Then we will come to the consequence part. Then we will come to the consequence part of dead zone on the marine ecosystem. So in the introduction part, what we will write? We will define the dead zones. What are the dead zones? Then we will come to the body part and then we conclude the answer. In the introduction part, we will define dead zones. So what are dead zones? These are the zones in the water body which are having a very less amount of the dissolved oxygen or which are having the high biochemical oxygen demand. Means these are zones which are having the very high oxygen demand that lead to the death of the marine organism. And these zones are specifically known as the dead zones. These zones are in the river, these zones are in the sea, in a specific water bodies. So we will define the dead zone simply in the introduction itself. Okay. So in the introduction, we will define dead zones. Define dead zones. So this is a 10 marker question asked in the UPSC 2018. So we will start the introduction by defining the dead zones. These are the area uh, which are having the lack of oxygen, which lead to the death of the marine organism. Okay. Now, the question is demanding, we need to write the consequence of dead zones on the marine life. The consequence of dead zone on marine life, we need to write here. So, before going to the consequence, we will write about the cause of the dead zone. What are the major reasons behind the dead zones? Q create ho raha hai dead zone. We need to write that first. In a two, three line, we will give the reference, but the major answer will be focused on the consequences. Because the main demand of the question is the consequences of the dead zone for the uh, marine life. Okay, so now come to the body part. In the body part, we will divide the body in the two parts. One is the region. Second is the consequences. First is the region and the second is the consequences of the dead zone. So in the region, what can be the region? Anybody can tell me. Vishal, Amit, Priya, Anju, anybody. You can mention in the comment section. Okay. So the region can be one, the anthropogenic region. Second can be the natural. So anthropogenic region and the natural region. Anthropogenic region means due to the human activities. Anthropogenic means due to the human activities. So let's see about the region behind the dead zones. So natural region. What are the major natural regions? Coastal upwelling. Coastal upwelling. 
due to the rotation of the earth there is some of the gravitational force which lead to the upwelling of the water in the sea which lead to the less amount of oxygen dissolved water going down and the high oxygen dissolved water coming up to the sea surface that lead to a zone which having the less amount of the oxygen that lead to the dead zone if the oxygen level of the water decreases means the marine life will not survive if the oxygen level it decreases means the marine life will not survive and this is a specific zone like consider this is a water body maybe the there can be a dead zone where the, there is a lack of oxygen in this area if the any marine organism is enter into this dead zone so it will lead to the death of that organism due to the lack of oxygen so it can be due to the natural region that is a coastal upwelling second the growth of the algae on the surface of water if there is a excessive growth of algae if there is excessive growth of the algae on the region that lead to the decrease in the oxygen because the algae take the highest oxygen so the water will be deficient in the oxygen that lead to the dead zone again so the these are the major two regions one is the coastal upwelling and the second is the growth of the algae on surface okay clear any doubt pravesh any doubt okay then come to the anthropogenic cause anthropogenic cause in the anthropogenic cause specifically uh, we look into the region which are the human made region human we can say the one is the excess use of the fertilizer excess use of the fertilizer in the agriculture field the excess use of the fertilizer the drainage is going to the water bodies so that excess use of the fertilizer increase the amount of nitrogen increase the amount of phosphorus and some of the other chemicals into the water body which lead to the increase in the growth of plankton phytoplankton algae and that's consume the more oxygen if they are consuming the more oxygen that will lead to the decrease into the oxygen in the water body means the increase in the oxygen demand then the global warming the global warming is also the major cause of the decrease in the oxygen there eutrophication everybody know the eutrophication the major region the excess use of the fertilizers also lead to the eutrophication and in the eutrophication you will see the dead fish on the area of the eutrophication on the boundary area of the eutrophication the uh, sorry lake on the eutroph eutrophied lake ke boundaries pe aap dekhenge so there is a dead fish you can find even in the some of the coastal area you can find number of the fish are dead in the specific zone specific coastal area that is due to the dead zone that is due to the decrease in the oxygen level of that area so you need to write the these regions before starting the consequences of the dead zone on the marine life okay You're clear yes yes ashish yeah you are right here you are right here you need to be tell about the these anthropogenic region and it will be good if you are writing a real time example here with, uh, specifically to the, these lakes specifically to the any water body which is facing the dead zone which is a real time dead zone you can mention that example also okay now come to the consequence part now come to the consequence part of the dead zone what can be the consequences rakhi anybody can tell me here what can be the consequence of dead zone so there are many consequences there can be the economic consequences there can be the social consequences economic consequences because the fishermen which is wealth is completely dependent on the fishing if the area is having the less amount of oxygen that is having the dead fishes so means unka to business hi chala ja raha hai na because of dead zone so you need to be specify multiple dimensions what can be the consequences of the spreading of dead zone so you need to be right there 
what can be the consequences here clear clear to everyone yes so let's see the loss of the marine diversity how the loss of the marine diversity here if the oxygen level decreases if the oxygen level decreases then the number of organism in that area start dying so if the people if the organism the specific organism which are required the high oxygen amount they start dying so the diversity so diversity in that area the diversity of the organism in that area will decrease clear if there is a x y z a b c there are the six initially there are the six organism in the some specific area but due to the decrease in the oxygen level these x x z cannot survive in the lower amount of oxygen so these start dying and these specific organism can survive there so that lead to the loss of the marine diversity ki diversity kaise loss ho ja raha hai okay clear next is algal blooms algal blooms algal blooms means here like there is a layer on the surface of the water the green layer you see on the surface of the water where the biological oxygen demand is very high means that area having the very less dissolved oxygen which lead to the death of the marine organism so algal blooms increase hona shuru hoga which lead to the death of the organism and this is the main consequence of dead zone overcrowding how it can be the overcrowding you will have a question mark here uh, if the organism are dead agar organism mar rahe hain due to the oxygen a lack of the oxygen how it can be the overcrowding question anybody how how we can say it's overcrowding anybody can tell me here so if this is a water body let's take an example if this is a water body and this area is having the lack of oxygen but other area is having a ample amount of oxygen so the organism in this area the marine organism in this area will come to will to start coming to this area and this area will be overcrowded and due to the overcrowding of the this region the oxygen quantity of this area is also start decreasing if the oxygen is also decreasing means the demand of the oxygen is increasing that will lead to death again so this lead to the overcrowding as well clear clear to everyone here okay so let's move to the next point next is the harmful to human health harmful to human health like the humans are consuming these marine lives we are con consuming the many of the people are in india are consuming the fishes and some of the other marine organism if the oxygen demand is less death of the organism start ho jana shuru ho jayega those who are consuming these fishes those who are consuming these marine lives maybe it can impact the human health human health ka may by this they can be the various issue related to the human health then next point is affect biogeochemical cycle biogeochemical cycles ko affect karega if the any lake in a dead zone the oxygen level it decrease that's maybe the due to some of the chemicals some of the nitrogen phosphorus ki wajah se decrease ho raha hai but the like the biogeochemical cycle sulfur cycle nitrogen cycle and the some of the carbon dioxide cycle that will be affected here that will be affected due to the lack of oxygen that will be affected due to the death of the organism so this also affect the biogeochemical cycle then last but not the least in the present context the loss of livelihood the livelihood of the fishermen the livelihood of the people those who are collecting these marine life for sale for food so there can be a direct impact on those farmers those people who are completely dependent on these marine life completely dependent for earning on these marine life maybe the, some of the other reason can be the food shortage if you can see in the coastal area 
if the dead number of dead zone are increased in a specific area that may be lead to the food shortage as well because most of the people in that area are dependent on these marine organisms so you need to link you need to link with the each perspective what can be the economical perspective what can be the geographical perspective how it impacting the water bodies how it's impacting the environment so we need to be right the each perspective here in the consequence of spreading the dead zone i hope the clear uh, clear to everyone here i hope clear to everyone here okay so this is the introduction part and the body part in the body part we discuss the two area one is the region behind the dead zone and the second the consequence of the dead zone consequence of spreading the dead zone now now there is a time to come to the conclusion part in the conclusion uh, you can refer any of the reports of the organization you can uh, write the report of the any of the environmental organization related to it you can write the reports the body which are dealing with the sea you can write about the data recently got koi reports related to the death of the fishes both sari reports aati hai newspaper mein so you can code those reports into the conclusion and also you will write about the fish industry how it's helping the livelihood of the people how this industry is helping the different kind of the people so wo bhi aap yahan pe likhenge you will write the reports you will write the some of the supportive argument also so this is the question about the consequence of a dead zone if anybody have any doubts regarding it anybody no doubt okay uh, so i could request to you please write the answer before watching these lectures before attending these lectures and try to submit to the portal so these answers will be evaluated by our experts and you will get a, a grades there for specifically your answer writing so we are checking here structure how you are understanding the question what is your specific approach is you are able to complete the answer within the given time limit the 7 8 minutes so if you are understanding clearly the pyq question means you are understanding the exam if you are understanding the pyq the previous question of the upsc means you are understanding the demand of the exam and that is the more im, most important thing in this journey agar aap exam ko hi samajh jayenge to zyada difficulty nahi hogi clear karne mein clear okay so we are also starting with the our gs main support program a uh, gs main support program those who are appearing for the 2023 mains or the 2024 those who are targeting this program is for both of them but a criteria for joining this program you have to complete your basic gs first jinhone bhi apna gs ko complete kiya hai they can join this program in this program we are providing you the oh, solution of the all the pyq from 2013 to 2022 specifically for the general studies we are providing the practice test we are providing the sectional test and the full length test we introduce a concept of practice test here because the mains is all about the retention all about the writing all about the presentation so if you are increasing the rwp writing presentation and retention your marks in the mains will increase so we are giving you the content on the day of the monday you will write the you will learn the content you will represent reproduce that content on thursday we will see your presentation skill we will see how you retain the content how you are presenting your content how you are completing the paper within the 3 hours so this is a new concept because this is the demand of the exam if you are just writing the exam on sunday and you are not remembering any of the specific point any of the data you are just attempting two three question and going back to home that's a no use for the test series so आपको अपना फियर्स भी हटाना है फियर को भी कम करना है एंड आपको लर्न भी करना है सो दिस इज द बेस्ट प्रोग्राम आई थिंक इफ एंड यू आर एन इंटरेस्टेड इन दिस प्रोग्राम यू कैन ज्वाइन दिस ओके सो वी विल मीट टुमारो विद द न्यू क्वेश्चन अगेन आई एम रिक्वेस्टिंग यू प्लीज ट्राई टू राइट द आंसर थैंक यू बाय बाय